Hey class, what's going on? So I got a uh, a, a, a really good question from, uh, from a few of you guys. Um, I think it was Alfonso that brought it up, right? Um, in terms of uh, maybe expediting the way that we work on this structure. Um, if you look at my screen right now, if you guys remember uh, the way that we were working on the on the structure for this uh, study model that we did, right? I mean, well, what we're doing? Well, we're drawing a uh, square. Right, and then from there we were extruding it, and then once you get that that base kind of form, you were then scaling it on one direction, and of course having in mind if you had a different profile, and by profile I mean the the thickness of the of the basswood in this case. Well, um, turns out that there is an easier way of doing this and a faster way. Remember that we were just trying to practice and get better and and uh, manipulating and mo moving. The, uh, the the forms in Rhino and you know familiarizing yourself with the commands and the and the uh, interface of Rhino, but if you if you look at my screen right here, uh, there's this thing called scripts, right? Um, and you know I'll explain a little bit what they do. But I have um, these polylines right here, um, uh, the polylines and polygons, and the polyline and polygons. And uh, through a uh, easy set of steps, you can then obtain a uh, a square pipe all around that. So that's what I want to show you guys and how to uh, set up. And it's uh, relatively simple. Um, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is um, download from Blackboard. I'm gonna upload it right now. A uh, the script, the script itself. Uh, right here, I should have it under documents. I have this Rhino, right? So. You'll find it under 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 Blackboard. Uh, uh, let me let me let me point out. Hold on a second. Let's find. It. So so here we go. Right. So if you go under um, tutorials and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see uh, this file right here, Square Pipe Rhino Script. Um, if you click on that, a a file should download. Um, what I've done is I created a, so I go show the folder right here, you know, you have the multi-square pipe. Um, create a folder, in this case I have it under my documents, Rhino, square pipe, and save it there. And uh, just pointing out, you know, just give credit, uh, this uh, this Rhino script comes from uh, Mitch, from a uh, from the uh, McNeil website on the forums. Um, it's a script that we have, have used in the past. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the, the same one. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get into a little bit into what, what these are, but basically there are, there are sets of informations, right? Um, the way that they operate, you know, if actually, if, uh, you know, um, I can do an open with, right? Uh, you don't have to do this. Um, let's see, let's see to open with. Uh, if I actually open it with WordPath, uh, just so you see what, what, what it is, if you're familiar with programming or with, uh, well, yeah, programming, uh, scripting, um, it's a sequence of steps that basically perform a series of operations, but it's kind of condensed into a single one and, you know, you get the end result faster rather than applying or realizing uh, a series of steps over and over again. You know they're condensed in this in this script, which ultimately the the main command that we're using is the sweep pipe, right? Um, that that it has right there or the sweep command. Um, but anyway, uh, I might come back to this. So once you have it saved under your your files, right? The multi rectangular pipe. Um, I'll show you how to how to load it really easy. So the first thing that you want to do, right, is, is to draw your your lines. So I'm on the default, and I created a square pipe uh, just for, for for reference right now. But if I create a a polyline, and uh, you know, I'll do something like that, like that. Uh, you create your polylines or your polygons. Now the way that you uh, um, run a script, right? Um, you you load it, right? So load script. In this case, uh, it's already uh, located in, on my system because I, I was already playing with it. But in your case, you might have to add it. So, you, well, you will have to add it. So uh, you go to add, uh, you find the script, you know, you click on open, and you'll have it right here. Now, notice that as as you click on the uh, on the script, 
the load command or the load a button gets uh, act, um, uh, activated or you know highlighted. So you click on load. If we look at in the command line, it says select curves to pipe with rectangular section. That's exactly what we want, right? So we select uh, select the one that I just drew, right? Now uh, it's important to note that I have set my units right to feet on this uh, example right here. So if I actually type units, right, enter, I'm on feet and feet and inches. Um, my screen display, uh, this tends display, I'm sorry. Why is this important? Because if I, again, load the script, right, select it, um, select the, the curves, notice that it's asking me for the length of the side, right? And this is where actually you can specify the thickness of the, the, the structure in terms of one-to-one uh, uh, -one scale. So if that's a two-inch or three-inch uh, by three-inch uh, square pipe, or if it's a six by six, Right. In this case, you know, let's start with, uh, you know, um, let's say a three, three inch, right? So three inch, right? No, notice that it's length of sides, right? So three inch, and there's a width of side, right? So I'll leave it at three inch right now, just to see how it works, right? Uh, let's just leave that at zero, hit enter, and there it is, right? There's the pipe. Let me change its uh, layer color so that we see it right there. Um, and you can see how the uh, the line that we have created help us guide uh, the creation of this. Uh, this now, what's nice is that the, the the ends are also you know uh, trimmed or you know um, they fo follows the, the the curve itself. Um, so again, if I go into the square pipe command uh, layer, again type load. Uh, Select, load, select this. Now, let's see what happens if the length was one side. Let's say that we put, uh, you know, six inches now by three inches on the other side, right, and a rotation of zero, right? So let's see what we get. So we get a, um, what we want, right, is a frame or a structure. But right, rather than being the square right here, here's the rectangle as a profile, right? Which would be the, if we do a distance, right? Uh, metric from there to there, that's your three inches by the six inches right here versus our three inches, right? By three inches right here. And the neat part about this is that it can work on multiple curves at once, right? So if I, again, type load, script, select the script, Hit click load. I can actually select all of these polygons at once, right? Uh, click on enter. I'll just leave the same uh, dimensions that I have so far, right? Uh, 0.5. Uh, that unit, those units are not showing correctly. I think it's round enough because it was three inches, and three inches is not. Or yeah, it is. It is a quarter or a quarter of a foot. That's correct. Remember? So select the. So okay. So you set the width 0.25. Enter. Now rotation, and uh, we leave it like that. Now we have the frame. Now have in mind that whenever uh, I have, uh, you know, the curves overlapping, I'm not sure you have what, uh, how, what I mean. Um, this, this, for example, they're, they're overlapping, right? So you have, I guess what I mean is that, you know, if I type move, right, and move that to there, Right, it, it's independent, right? They they have um, each has its own um, frame, uh, which just have in mind. Now, something that you should also have in mind is that, as you can see uh, from my screen, is that the let me turn off the square pipe uh, layer that I have here. Go to default, turn it off. The original curves. Um, remain so actually it wouldn't be a bad idea to just call this uh, you know like a pipe guide lines so that um, at some point you are gonna want to either delete them or turn them off so it'd be nice if you can turn off the, uh, the square pipes select these and delete them so that they're not there anymore, right? Um, but I'll go back and 
just just have in mind that the, both of them are, are going to stay and i don't see on the script well I don't, I don't think the script has the the function of deleting the input which the input in this case would be the curve okay so um that's that's uh that's a, a way, a method of, again, uh, creating your structure. Um, again, the only thing that you need, remember, is an input, right, which is the curve. Now, the only thing that, you know, for example, um, you know, I haven't tested is the rotation that it's there, but but remember that that um, we're not necessarily playing with that. And the idea is that you're able to uh, build it, create a, a physical model out of this. So um, let me know if there's any questions. And, um, and again, well, thanks uh, again to Mitch for developing the script. And again, and again this, um, you know, later on we'll talk more about that, but there's all sorts of uh, other scripts that you can download and, you know, facilitate a little bit the, the workflow. All right, guys. So uh, let me know if there's, there's questions.